Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk. Max here. Uh, this is going to be the start of some Comic-Con exclusives. Yes. Um, the next two Toy Talks will have a lot of Comic-Con um, pictures. Mainly, like, Funko has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Comic-Con exclusives. Um, but to start us off, we have some Pokemon plushes. There's a Tyranitar and a Venusaur pre-release Comic-Con debut plushies. They and this is uh, UCC distributing. Yes. We're becoming more and more popular. Um, the good thing about this is it's just a pre-release, so you eventually should be able to get your hands on it. Yes. They look higher quality, which I'm a fan of. I like that. Yes. I like that they're doing, like, um, just, like, different Pokemon that aren't starters and stuff that I like. I One like. interesting thing, though, UCC Distributing did the Jesse Cake Comic Con last year, and as of yet, there's no shoppy exclusive. Maybe it'll spring at the last moment. Jigglypuff. One of my favorites, because I play Smash Brothers, and I use Jigglypuff. Yeah, he's cute. Do you, do you want to tell everybody who these are? Uh, I'm not a big. I don't watch it's Steven. It's Cookie Cat I and knew Pink Lion. I knew Cookie Cat. I knew. And them. I could have guessed the Pink Lion. I love these two. They're you so cute. You didn't even give me a shot to guess. Oh, I knew. You didn't. Know. That's Cookie Cat on the left, it's, and that's Pink Lion. It's, it's cute. You can take this one. Lupus <gasps> something. It's Lupus. Lapis. Ooh. Lapis. lapis. Yes. Ah! People are going to correct me so bad. I don't even know this show. And I... Lapis. lapis. <laughs> now, this one says exclusive, so you may only be able to get this version. There's other smaller ones that aren't as high quality. Mm -hmm. These are not Comic-Con at all. Yeah. <laughs> These are just uh, Studio Ghibli. Anything Studio Ghibli I find, I include in Toy Talk. Yeah, because I like it. Yes. Kiki's delivery and that thing from Mononoke. Um, here's some rock candy. The Flintstones. They look a little odd to me. <laughs> I'm not against them or anything. They just look odd to me. And then uh, the only rock candy figure that I would ever be interested in getting. Daenerys Targaryen. She looks cool. And then Brienne of Tarth. Also looks cool. But the only one I'd uh, ever want would be... I wish they would have done all the dragons with her. But they only do Drogon with her every time. Okay. Um, so here's a lot more uh, Funkos. Yeah, there's Dorbs, Star yes. Wars. Yes. None of these I don't think are Comic-Con exclusives, but... Um, just pictures... They, the Tigger in this is uh, Comic-Con. The Wacky Races is such a great idea for the Dorbs rides. It's mm. just perfect. I don't know what that is. It was an old... Um, there used to be these movies in the 70s where they used to be like... Uh, against the Law races. Mm -hmm. And they did a cartoon version with Hanna-Barbera mm. style. And they use a bunch of wacky characters. And they just race all the time. That's cool. Here's some more Funkos. Um, I like I, Hey Hey. I didn't realize that they didn't already have a Hey Hey out. Like, I would have figured they would already have had one out. Maybe they did. I don't know. Like, that seems like one of the key characters that they would have already had. Hey gotten. Hey was such a big part in yes. the movie. And they, and uh, what was the pig's name? I don't remember. Oh. Pua, Pua. Pua. Yeah. He was barely in it. Yeah. And they all the marketing went to Pua because he was cuter. Yeah. But Hey Hey's Hey Hey's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> yes. Yes. I can't believe he doesn't already have one. Or like what's different about this one that he's Comic Con exclusive? I think he might be the first one. Oh, that's amazing. 
some more um, different Funko things. Those Ewoks are awesome. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Those are Walmart exclusives. I love Ewoks. Okay. There's gets, some people in the Star Wars community have don't put them as far as Jar Jar for the hate, but they start that they, they put the Ewoks as the start of George Lucas doing two kitty stuff and annoying. But I love the Ewoks. I loved them as a kid. There's even even some Ewoks movies that aren't very good, but I love these Ewoks. That's cool. Sorry, I went off on a thing there. They're cute. And there's some Scooby-Doo, like this really neon green and pink one. Flocked, too. Yeah. Then we have... Uh, they're making Harry Potter mystery minis. Well, this is the second series. Yes. And they have, like... They're not pets. These are not pets. But they're, like, creatures. And they have different exclusives to different places, which I need to figure out <laughs> which one has the hippogriff and the the Weasley twins, because that's the one I want to get. Is the one with the hippogriff and the Weasley twins. That's the set I want to get. I think it's cool that they included. Um, I don't know the name of them, but the things that Luna Lovegood can see. And then uh, Harry can see after his brush with Beth. So, well, I don't know if it's brush with Beth or... He can see it later on after that stuff. Then, for Pine Size Heroes, they're going for the horror. And also, uh, Funko's doing this, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister location, which I believe... I <sighs> Mommy and Gracie show is open a case of these they're out already i think yes yes they're pretty cool looking though so if you if you like five minutes at freddy's you probably want to get those here's a look at the case for this series of series two or something. i don't know yeah. maybe they're gonna do one for every book i don't know but like look here in this picture we see um different uh thing there's different thing now oh yeah that i don't know what that creature's i don't remember what they're called i'm sure someone watching will know it looks like a mermaid yeah and then uh also the dark wizard there wizard this or whatever oh and the dementor or the dementor was in the other picture i think Here's a backpack, a Rocky Raccoon backpack. And uh, there's Disney Treasures subscription box. At D23. Yes. And I just include this for Ducky. It was just random. Because <laughs> it's two, two, I thought, two actors you love. Oh, I thought it was some going to have some like, oh, cool story sorry. with it. Maybe. I thought he was going to be in... Like, that would have been super confusing. I thought maybe he was going to be in the the Smart. Marvel universe somehow. Maybe. But that would be super confusing because he's already in the DC universe. But the TV universe, so they could do it. Uh, we love this actor on the left. and we Cameron? Yeah, Cameron Moynihan. Yes. And then um, the new Spider-Man. Yes. I guess they were just friends. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe he'll show up in Homecoming too. That'd be so weird, though. Like, hey, there's the Joker in Spider-Man. Okay, if you take his Joker next to Jared Leto, I would totally choose him if I can only pick one. Probably, yeah. Anyway, moving on. So here, um, Hot Toys, I have Iron Man 3, uh, Bones Retro Armor version. It's pretty cool, though. The reason it's cool is you could take off the pieces in the stand. Like, just holds the pieces like he's gonna yeah. go on to uh, Tony. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a lot of detail in it, too. All the... Wow. It's really cool. Two more pictures there. These are some art prints that are gonna be... 
I like the Wonder Woman. Yeah, I like Wonder Woman. The Comic Con exclusives? Yeah, this is Hasbro Comic Con exclusives, I think. Optimus Prime and Shredicus Maximus. That's funny. Oh, uh, is it? Oh no, never mind. I thought it was a skating board, a skateboard for some reason. Um, but no, it's like um, I don't know. It's a it's a transformer. Here's some random little... blind bags. Yeah. This interesting. I want to see what they look like outside. They, the box doesn't give a, a lot of clues to how all of them look, but I guess. It looks like dog tags, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, I would think there's a little green man and a dog tag. Hmm. Here are some Power Rangers Comic Con exclusive things. And we finished watching the Power Rangers movie. I highly recommend it. What do you think, Ducky? Yeah, I liked it. And I, one of my favorite parts is actually Megazord. I like the different, really different look, and I think he looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Megazord. Dragon Ball Z. These are UCC distributing, I'm pretty sure. These are like the Domes characters. And Funko, if they don't have enough products, they're going to do bottle toppers with, with a pop inside. Wow. Pop, pop. See, it's it pop. Funko pop. It's pop. That's cool. <laughs> I wonder how much they're gonna be. I want to know how this tastes. Marvin the Martian's strawberry kiwi flavor and Huckleberry Hound is blueberry flavor. Huh. And then we have T-shirts. This is the like a new way to sell the t-shirts because they had them before, but these are like little boxes. Mm-hmm. I think they'll do better this way. It's a cute idea. Scooby-Doo snacks. And then also this Dragon Ball Z. Super Saiyan Goku. Some backpacks. These are fun code too. They're really limited. Mm-hmm. The Star Wars one and the Stranger Things one. Um, Figuro key rings. Yep. Power Rangers Comic Con exclusive. Yeah. And then here's a Rocket League mini pullback racers, the Comic Con exclusive, and a Xenomorph. Pizza Morph. That's a Pizza Morph. This, I think it says Pizza and Xenomorph. It doesn't look like a pizza. Yeah. Here's some more alien themed things with a lunchbox. I might get this for work. The alien one. <laughs> really? No. I want to, oh. maybe. I don't think so. Uh -huh. I don't think you want that. Okay. Um, here's some domes. Comic Con exclusive domes. Where you get the complete set of eight characters. Um, which weren't these couldn't you already get these the domes for Steven Universe I don't Universe? know if they're all exact same characters maybe they're more detailed or like metallic or glittery or something I don't know. I'm not sure either but if they are the exact same characters you could already get <sighs> there's gotta be something they're, they're, I think the, they're metallic the thing is that you don't have to pay extra money to try to keep getting them you get them all together yeah which is kind of like to all those people who bought multiples trying to complete their set I'd be kind of mad oh really? <laughs> yeah and here's also this domes of uh I remember for Christmas yes I think the box you can store them in the box maybe too and the viewer comment for this toy talk is from Fruit Loop to Husky I think I need a real life version of that dress. So cute. And she was talking, or that person was talking about, um, Marshmallow. Mar yeah, Marshmallow. So I included a picture of Marshmallow so you could see the dress. And then because I wanted to, I tried to find a real life version of the dress. And the closest I got to that dress was the dress that I included next to it. 
which you could do a the custom top, part. The top of it is pretty close. It just the skirt part is different. You could like fabricate a top part of the skirt and do something there. Yeah. It wouldn't be too difficult. Yeah. So that's like a Japanese cosplay dress. So basically, Marshmallow is a cosplayer. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for your comment, Fruit Loop Tusky. And uh, thank you all for watching this Toy Talk episode. And we will see you in the next episode. Yeah, bye. Thanks. Bye.